Unfortunately, not every state is a desirable place to live. In fact, some states can be downright unpleasant due to various factors, such as high taxes, poor infrastructure, and low quality of life. Americans have identified some of the worst states to settle down in the United States based on their own experiences and opinions. 10. California. From Golden State to Hellhole. Like a phoenix ascending from the ashes of controversy, a bold user stepped forth and labeled the Golden State as nothing short of a hellhole. The state is known for its high cost of living and taxes, traffic, and homelessness problems, contributing to its negative reputation. The state also experiences frequent natural disasters, including wildfires and earthquakes, which can be catastrophic. Despite this, California remains a popular tourist destination, including some of the world's most well-known monuments and attractions. 9. Illinois. The state of unreasonably high taxes. One user did not hold back their opinion on Illinois, calling it a state with unreasonably high taxes. In addition to high taxes, Illinois has struggled with a significant budget deficit and pension crisis, leading to financial woes for both the state and its residents. 8. West Virginia. The abode of woes. In the vast tapestry of statehood, West Virginia was under the harsh spotlight as a disgruntled soul boldly declared it the ultimate abode of woes. Despite its natural beauty, the state reportedly suffers from poor infrastructure, poverty, and inadequate health care. These factors may contribute to making it an unfavorable state to reside in. 7. Texas. Heat, tornadoes, and more. Texas is not a desirable state to live in due to several factors, according to a person's experience. The user mentions the unbearable heat during summers, frequent tornadoes, low minimum wages, high homicide rates, and low education levels as the reasons for disliking the state. 6. Oklahoma. The least desirable state. One intrepid traveler, boasting of conquering all 50 states, couldn't conceal their disdain for Oklahoma. Amidst their endless adventures and awe-inspiring discoveries, Oklahoma failed to capture their heart. Despite unearthing hidden gems and silver linings in every nook and cranny of America, this restless explorer found Oklahoma to offer the least enchantment and allure. 5. Arkansas. More downsides than scenic beauty. A person straight up said Arkansas is the worst state to live in. Though Arkansas is often praised for its beautiful natural scenery and outdoor activities, some residents say that it has too many downsides to be considered a great place to live. According to the user, Arkansas has few job opportunities, limited cultural experiences, and high poverty levels. The state's education system also needs to catch up to the national average, and there are few good schools or universities to choose from. Overall, the user feels that Arkansas is just not a great place to call home. 4. Mississippi. The worst state to live in. According to a Voyager, Mississippi is the worst state to live in the USA. They describe the state as lacking opportunities and low-quality education systems. The user also claims that Mississippi has a significant poverty rate and a lack of diversity, making it an unwelcoming place for many people. They also mention that the state has a high crime rate, and it's unsafe to live there. 3. Ohio. A trash can state. Ohio is nothing but a trash can, says an American. They further explain that the state is filled with outdated, rundown cities with nothing to offer. They describe the people as unfriendly and not welcoming to outsiders. They also said that the weather is always unpredictable, with harsh winters and hot summers. They also criticize the state's lack of natural beauty and entertainment options. Overall, the individual had a very negative impression of Ohio and did not recommend it as a place to live. 2. Missouri. Unimpressed and unimpressed. One resident stated that Missouri is a whole. Despite being the birthplace of Harry S. Truman and Walt Disney, the state has apparently failed to impress this individual. Whether they are referring to the crime rates, education system, or simply the overall atmosphere, Missouri appears to have left an unpleasant aftertaste. 1. Louisiana. High crime rates and economic struggles. Louisiana has experienced relatively high crime rates, particularly in cities like New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Additionally, the state has faced economic struggles due to factors like poverty rates, limited job opportunities, and a high dependence on the oil and gas industry. Here comes another, 11. 
New Jersey. Roots unwelcomed by the locals. New Jersey is the absolute worst place to plant one's roots, all because of the people. They had a negative encounter with the natives. It's worth noting that New Jersey is a densely populated state with a mix of urban, suburban, and rural areas. While it has a reputation for being crowded and expensive, it also has many positive attributes, such as beautiful beaches and a vibrant arts scene. Paying rent in New Jersey. The Garden State is ranked one of the worst for renters 10th to be exact, according to a Consumer Affairs report. The report says New Jersey residents are using nearly 31% of their total income to pay rent. Consumer Affairs compared each state on cost, availability and tenant security to rank the best, and worst, states for renters in 2023. Some of the biggest challenges in New Jersey, according to the report, are the high cost of living in the landlord-tenant laws that some believe favor landlords. In Newark alone, rent averages $1,800 a month, and for the rest of the state, renters are paying just over $1,400 with an average household income of around $89,000. The best states for renters are North Dakota, South Dakota and Iowa, according to the report. California, Massachusetts and Nevada are the worst states for renters. The report says Florida renters put the highest percentage of their income toward rent, 34.6%, while North Dakota and South Dakota renters put the lowest, 25.1%. A new study by Construction Coverage which looked at roadway conditions in the United States found that New Jersey has the second worst roads. Roadways are a vital component of infrastructure in the United States. The vast majority of goods are transported by truck, highlighting the economy's need for reliable roadways to connect supply chains and move goods and services efficiently across borders. Most commuters use roads daily to get to work and individuals also rely on roadways for crucial access to resources including employment, social, health, and education services. However, many highways, major roads, and bridges are in need of repair. Hazardous road conditions can negatively impact the economy, contribute to traffic congestion, and impact the safety of Americans. The passing of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, also referred to as the Bipartisan Infrastructure Package, highlights the importance of reliable roads in the U.S., and the commitment to improving America's infrastructure. The 2021 bill signed by President Joe Biden dedicated $110 billion in funding to repair and update roads and bridges, in addition to supporting major transformational roadway projects across the U.S. Despite this massive investment, America still has its fair share of hazardous roads. From 2000 to 2020, the share of major roadways in poor condition has remained fairly steady, rising from 11.8% to 13.8% over the course of 20 years. While frustrating for vehicle owners and operators, there's more promising news. The share of roads in good condition has steadily increased since 2000, rising a total of 8.4 percentage points, from 45.5% in 2000 to 53.9% in 2020. The share of major roadways in fair condition, or the category between good and poor, was the only category to shrink over the last 20 years, falling from 42.6% in 2000 to 32.3% in 2020, a decrease of over 10 percentage points. There's no shortage of roads that need fixing, and total highway expenditures have grown over the past 20 years, highlighting the government's commitment to improving America's most common form of transportation. Funds dedicated to capital outlay, or the cost of equipment or expenditures to make improvements including construction, grew the most and secured the most funds, increasing from $87.4 billion in 2000 to $127.7 billion in 2020. Spending on maintenance also increased by nearly $20 billion, climbing from $43.7 billion in 2000 to $61.4 billion in 2020. Highway costs aren't isolated to physical improvements, Expenditures in administration, highway law enforcement, and bond interest have also increased in order to maintain orderly and safe roadways. This particular area of spending grew from $36.6 billion in 2000 to $55.1 billion in 2020. While roads serve as important infrastructure, and investments in roadway improvements are growing, there are still regions where road quality is lagging behind. A surprising amount of East Coast states, where individuals are more likely to commute via public transit, are home to a large share of roadways in poor condition, 
while Midwest states are more likely to be farther down the list. The data used in this analysis is from the U.S. Department of Transportation Federal Highway Administration. To determine the states with the worst roads, researchers at construction coverage calculated the share of major roadways in poor condition. In the event of a tie, the state with the lower percentage of roadways in good condition was ranked higher. Major roadways are defined to include interstates, other freeways and expressways, other principal arterials, and minor arterials. The analysis found that 36.4% of the major roadways in New Jersey are in poor condition, compared to 13.8% of roadways across the country. Out of all states, New Jersey has the second worst roads.